All right. Uh, first of all, I will, um, if we got two there in the back, you want to come on up or? I, I warn you, I warn most everyone for yes, audience participation and there's participation right there. Hey. Yeah, no worries. All right, I'm, I'm on there. All right. <coughs> mm. Well, let, let's, oh, well, let us open here with the first part. Um, this is programming, but we're not going to talk about bits and bytes. We're not going to talk about um, hard drives. We're going to talk about the other blank sheet of paper that everyone stares at all the time, or they should stare at. One of these, like the ones that you all have in front. Uh, don't don't follow me just yet. This is actually a simpler. I'm going to do a more a more familiar model here, uh, but in terms of programming, because everyone knows that we deal every day with edge cases, like so. And over here, even more, you know, and even those nasty corner cases here, like so. And of course, <laughs> there's a little bit moves a little bit faster here. Yeah, even even more edge cases. This so far is what you could term uh, in origami. Uh, this is um, this is uh, plain. This is um, pure land. All simple back and forth folds. But when you think of it here as a simpler. Like so, everything is going back. And, everything is leaning back and forth. Like so, and of course, every so often, the code gets a little bit messy, like this, like what you've got there, and you need to do a little bit of refactoring. And we need to get a little bit more complex here. Go into some of the more imperative languages and start doing more complex work, like so. I will do this on this side, so you all can see, like so. I've been doing this now for um, off and on roughly 20 years. And it was only after, I, after my most recent um, time, spent, time spent waiting for a country to decide to let me in that I decided to uh, focus a lot more on that, including going to conventions where I, where we talked about, careful there, um, doesn't want to sit. Yeah, pl please do, please do. More complex, more like, and that is what you'll be doing here in about uh, 10 paper all in front of you. Yeah. So, all right. I don't have the time right now to go through all of these steps here, unfortunately. But um, the next, but so now we go into the next level. A little bit more refactoring. Turn this inside out, like so. Going to form. You see here part of a beak showing. Yeah, when I was, let's see here. Um, you can also do, um, also, just to connect more with Perl, uh, you can also do work with um, modules like these. I'll pass that around. Stay the author. Yeah, yeah it's, it's all one year lock sheet, but there are there are um, six uh, separate sheets there. Like so, a little bit more refactoring. I just have something more interesting to look at. Well, instead of this, 
Uh, this is not my work. I will, has, I will hasten to add. Uh, I believe that is Eric Loisel. At least I recognize the I recognize the samurai. These are, in fact, all one sheet. But um, I'm not going to quite finish things out here. But what we can do with this at this point is bend out a sheet like so. And let's get that tail straightened out like so. A little bit more refactory. And again, it, it's nice to know that we started from, we started this whole thing from a clean sheet of paper, like we all want to do when we first learn programming. A clean sheet of paper, like, say, these. So, so like, it's, it's not quite what we saw, but you see the basic form. I'm not going to do the rest of that because it's just a, it's just a little bit pressed for time. Pushing onwards. Um, this also, is, this is a dodecahedron. Um, this also is separate modules. Each of, I, I can't show you directly, but uh, the it's got one, two, three, four, five colors of paper. Uh, they're all different sheets. Um, this is this is more much more advanced work, obviously. Uh, I believe this one is a Zeppelin. If you fold it out of um, lead, you would have a lead Zeppelin. There's actually there's actually a place here in uh, London that you can buy thin sheets of lead. I was kind of tempted, but that would have been overkill, vast vast overkill. Uh, this is a more advanced example of what you can of what you work with. Uh, and in fact, if you're looking at if you go to a conference, uh, likely what they will do, uh, at least for the conferences that, that I go to, is they will say, here is the model that you want to work on and go for it. They will, that there is the model. There are, you, you don't get any directions with that. You get the person here helping you, like I'll be doing here in a few minutes. But you can all, but with the same principle behind what we're going, I'm going to show you here in a few minutes, uh, you can do works like this. Uh, the interlocked uh, triangles that are off the screen for me, um, those I have done myself. Um, with the help of a few tools. So yes, you can play with, you can have your tools. All done, neat kit. I picked this up uh, in 2015 at the conference in Lyon. So in terms of, re so in terms of refactoring, um, I'm going to do some damage here to the crane, assuming, assuming it all works. Come on, get in there. This, this is a portable, it usually works, uh, portable, portable knife. Very handy for um, if you're on a plane. Let's see. Uh, this. I am. I have ordered a sheet of paper uh, to do this. <laughs> I can't. I couldn't bring it with me because it's about a. Uh, it's a seven-yard roll. <laughs> but it is all one sheet. Uh, the plans are all in a PDF format. And we've seen the, those two already. Um, you can work in both a iterative fashion, like the modules we had there, or a recursive fashion, like this. Or I will throw out this here for uh, a little bit more. Keep that out. Yeah, yeah. Re recursive nested again. That's all one sheet of paper. How big did you yeah. that one start? What's that? How big did that one start? Uh, that one. Oh, oh, that one. Um, about that large. 
yeah, it, it's it's actually a very good exercise uh, to warm up because you can just keep on folding, uh, folding down, folding down. Or you can follow something like, say, this, which is a source sale from MIT. So before you think that there's no real practical implication for what you're going to do here in Pumas, you, you fold a solar sail, you fold a telescope. This was at, um, I actually met the person that designed this a couple of years, a couple of years ago in San Francisco. Uh, he does origami for a living. Amazingly, it's possible. I'm as stunned as you are. And he also created, in, if you want to get really seriously, deeply geeky, uh, you can also download this. This is on Ubuntu. If you want to design your own figures, this, um, this, this is the work of the, the same guy that did the telescope and the solar sail. This is also his work. He has roughly 10 to 15 years of work for his life. Uh, you can see on the diagram, the yellow that you see is the flat, you see flat plane, something like um, what I've done with this. Which um, I am almost convinced that uh, solve, that trying to solve this for a computer would actually be NP hard, but I have yet to prove it. It doesn't quite fit in the margin of the paper. <laughs> no, doesn't quite fit there. But um, we got about uh, eight minutes, so what I will do here in um, more models here, and we have one dead one, and okay, so I'll leave that up, and now um, go ahead and yeah, pick those up. Uh, what I'm going to do here is undo some undo what I've done here locally. And show you how to do. Could I, we get uh, that ball over there back, please? Yeah. Um, ideally, you need um, six of these modules. Uh, I don't know if we have time to do six, but um, there are sheets of there are those sheets of paper there at the desk. So uh, right in front of you there, Mike. Um, so you pass it, pass those around, and same in, same on the last two ranks. Yeah. So, hopefully you've got. Hopefully you take a look at what you've got there, in front of you. Let me. You have there is a pyramid, like this. And I will turn this up upside down. And there is another shape there, which is a square. These are both, by the way, the same shape. They are just flipped outside. If I take this and flip it that way, I get the same shape. But I'll go ahead and flip that back. So you have so you have the pyramid here, like this, upside down. You have you have the bucket here and drop it in. Like that. Take that. I'll show you on this side. You can see here. Do we have, have we lost audio? Or okay. So we have the you have light here and dark here. Take this side, fold that over. Like so. I, I'm trying to do so that you folks could all see this and see the colors. I, I should have gotten like bright red for that, but I couldn't find a sheet. Yeah, <laughs> bottom one folds up over. Yeah, take so that. The bottom, the, that one's the bottom or that one's the bottom? Okay, I'll, 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 I'll go back to where I was. This is, this is that shape like so. Yeah, yeah, so that, so that's more clear. So this, Onto there, it will fit in neatly. Okay, that like that. Fold that over. Repeat for, for in. For
for i for i from one to four. Repeat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Perl six. The commas are applied like so, and you end up with that. That is one face of this. So we have this here that looks like the bottom of that. Yeah, yeah, go, go ahead. Yeah, well, I said you'll need to do this uh, six times, but luckily I have some prepared already in my case. The original fold was again, again, how you fold your, again, how you fold this. You take that like I did just earlier. So we have the B, so we have. It's always a little hard. This is how it used to look. Take that fold down like so across the corners. Both ways. And then the other way and fold across the edges the other way. Am I the only person who remembers Robert Harvey on the telly? Mm-hmm. Where I had a second key. Well, all this. So, yeah, we're doing two minutes. Yep, yeah. aha, uh -huh. thank you. Why is it? Waiting for that last one. Yeah. And th this, this last one here, um, which actually works for once, um, is a very, very small version of this frame. Very, very, very small. Uh, you will lose it on the table because it's less than a millimeter wide from beak to uh, tail. And it's done, and it folds itself. It's done using it's done using, I believe, aerogels. Aerogel. Yeah, Aero, aerogel that swells and fills in the lines and creases. And again, um, fold from point to point like like that. Point to point like. My my paper isn't square, obviously. Like that, and we are running out of time here. But you are more than welcome. <clears throat> I, I, will, I will leave the uh, papers out, or you want to? <clears throat> I'll, I'll leave them over there on on that. How do we fit these together? How many ones are close? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let, let's do one last. Let's. Yeah. Yeah, er, yeah, there are six per so, Yeah, there are six of each. So when you want, so when you want to interlock these, I'll just easier to leave them unfold like this. And I will do this here, this way. So you take that, the point of one, and just slide them together. So the point. So the point goes under the top like that, like so, and it gets pretty sturdy, like, like that. Excellent, excellent. Right, you've got 30 seconds to finish. I've got 30 seconds to finish. The component factory yeah. over here is, is instantiating multiple. <laughs> mm. Indeed, uh, every 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 row has every uh, table has six. So, you can, so that was kind of my intentional one. <laughs>
and I will get all the stuff out of the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a, that's was that the right way to do that? All right. Okay. Okay, and we are and uh, we're out of time here, so go ahead and the paper is free available. Um. Yeah. 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 So thanks everyone and happy folding. And I am out. Namaste. <laughs> <laughs>